classroom activities at the Accra High uh, Girls Senior High School have come to a halt as parents besieged the school earlier today to remove the awards from the facility. This comes after six students tested positive for coronavirus. There's heavy security presence at the school as some parents have trooped there to withdraw their children and my colleague Max Olababa reports the students are agitating to be taken home by their parents. Agitations here at the Accra Girls Senior High School where some of the students here are demanding um, that they are released so they go home um, because they have had news about the um, some of their colleagues who have reportedly tested positive for the coronavirus. Um, some of them are standing um, outside. Uh, they do not want to go to their classrooms. There were agitations earlier before we got here, but the police um, was actually called in to intervene in this matter. So some of them um, are still here. They are manning the gate and sharing that um, these students who are agitated do not get out of the um, school compound. Yeah, I have a parent here with me. Well, I'm here this morning to, to try to find out the, the situation because last night we picked a feed that six students of Accra girls have tested positive. And I know I have a word here. I'm a concerned parent. We have a common platform for parents, common platform for parents. And this is the case that when we had the situation, we try to speak or to pick information from the PT executive. What is happening to our wards here? The PT executives, nobody's talking. The chairman is not talking. The secretary, who's a student, who's a teacher here, also refused to talk. So definitely, we need to come to the school and they try to speak to the school authorities as to the situation of our wards here. And when we came to the school, the school authorities, nobody is prepared to talk. Like I said earlier, PT is not prepared to talk. Almost anybody in the cry school, nobody is prepared to talk. Yeah, thank you. Okay. You have a child here? Yeah, I have a child here. Okay. Mohammed Umar. Okay. So why are you here this morning? Well, I just had information that the children in the school had a demonstration yesterday that they are now more interested in staying there again, so they want to come home. That's why I rushed to come this morning to see what is actually going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if um, have you tried reaching the school authorities and what have they been telling you? I have not yet got in. And in fact, the day we brought the children, since then we have been receiving uh, numerous information about what is going on in the school. Mm -hmm. It's very bad. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm here. I've, I've come to see. That's, that's if, why you're here. Yeah. Okay. If the school will not continue, then I'll be ready to pick okay. my daughter. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So um, one of the police officers wants to address the parents. Let's get closer and hear what He's going to tell the parents. But now there's a no, situation, situation, so the school should be addressed. No, 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 don't record me. Don't record me. No, he's not recording you. Don't record me. No, no, no. Take away. Take away. Don't record me. Sir, this is a public issue. 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 Sir, He's attacking one of the media people uh, here, reporting from the Accra Girls Senior High School. This is a journalist who was recording with his recorder. The media should not record you. Whatever information you're giving here, the, 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 the public deserves to hear it. You're telling me I should be civilized. I'm civilized. Why are you civilized? 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 What do you mean? You say you're a media. Is that the way you talk? Tell me I should be civilized. those are things from the Accra Girls Senior High School. The NDC minority says the Kufuado administration must prioritize the lives of our students currently in the school in the light of the increasing numbers of COVID-19 cases in the country, as well as reported cases of infections recorded among students in some schools. Joining me shortly is uh, the ranking member on Parliament's Education Committee, Clementa Park, for more on this. Good afternoon to you, uh, Mitha Park. I'm grateful for your time on the polls. Good afternoon to you and uh, good afternoon to leaders. 
Uh, in fact, I'm the deputy ranking member on the committee uh, of parliament on education, not uh, the ranking member for the sake of the record. <laughs> Grateful. The minority is calling on government to rescind its decision to allow students to go back to school and shut down the schools. Earlier, you also um, issued a statement on the same matter. Exactly what are your concerns? Well, I think my concerns have been captured in the tip and uh, the video that uh, you have shown to accompany uh, the story to do with uh, parents trooping to the Accra Girls Senior High School uh, to take their wards uh, away from the school. And for good reason. Um, the decision to reopen schools, uh, many of us felt at the time, uh, was not the best. Uh, but be as it may, uh, government through the ministry and the Ghana Education Service uh, had met with stakeholders and a number of uh, promises were made as a precondition to the reopening of schools. Um, we now know, based on reports, that uh, not only were many of the schools not even uh, fumigated before students uh, were allowed to arrive on campus, but even basic supplies like uh, nose masks, like uh, running water, like, uh, if you like, sanitizers, were not even available. Uh, to even make matters worse, it was also the case that uh, it was to be only teachers who were to teach on particular days who were expected to be on campus. Uh, the reason was to reduce the number of persons on campus at any particular time. But even the teacher unions have come out to complain that that directive, or if you like, that promise has not been fulfilled. As we speak now, we have done our checks, and there are several schools in this country which have not yet received PPE. To add salt to the injury that we are all facing, and the fact that you know this virus keeps increasing in terms of the case count, we now know that at least in the Accra Girls Senior High School, students have tested positive. Now, the question that we pose is this. Is it not better for us to postpone the exams and allow for the students to go back to their parents to a time where conditions will be conducive for them to get back to school and study to write exams than to continue this policy of having them on campus where they are getting infected and indeed when they, come, they become sick and I mean God forbid if they die then what is the purpose of this exercise? Is it not better to have live wards even if they become illiterate than to have kids in school who may not even see the light of day? Is it that you want the personal protective equipment and also the um, adherence to social uh, distancing protocols, or you simply want the schools shut? Well, I think what has happened in Accra Girls makes the case that the best option now is to postpone the exam. And, I mean, we don't see any justification for Ghana and our government and the President Akufuado insisting that these students must go back to school and write exams this year. If you do your checks in, uh, you know, the sub-region, uh, all the countries which participate in the West African Examinations Council examinations, they have all postponed it. And, and so we fail to understand the motive. If the motive is for the students to study and write their exams, and yet we are experiencing the increasing numbers across board, even government officials being infected, uh, we now know that even the president has isolated himself. How can we then justify the continuous presence of our wars on these campuses when they don't even have the requisite PPEs to protect themselves? And now we know for a fact that they are being infected. So the best option is to postpone the exam. That then gives reason to close the schools down until such a time that we can all feel that there is safety and that we have this virus which is spiraling out of control, under control, then we can talk about sending them back to school. As one parent told me, it's better to have an illiterate child than to have none at all.
I'm grateful for your time. Dr. Clement Apak is Deputy Ranking Member on Parliament's Education Committee, speaking about uh, schools that need to be shut down.